What is up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to the top three ways to read uh, advanced defenses in Madden NFL 25. And what I say, what I mean by that is, um, there are, is certainly we we went over earlier on in this week how to read basic coverages, uh, whether it be basic cover three, basic cover two, that kind of stuff. And uh, today I want to focus on how to read uh, the top three things that you need to look for when playing an advanced player who has a really good defense and likes to make his plays look the same. So what I mean by, uh, and we're going to explain to you what I mean by make his plays look the same right now. Uh, we're going to come out in the 4-3 uh, stack, and this is going to illustrate everything we need to illustrate for you. And uh, the play we're going to come out in is the cover 4, so we can have access to cover 4, uh, cover 3, and cover 2 coverages. So here, let's grab it here, cover 4, and on offense, we'll just come out in a spread formation, just so it's easier for you to see here. Come out in the dice Y flex, and we'll come out in the deep curl play. All right, so what an advanced user will do when they're setting up their pressures and, and plays is they're going to try to make every single defense look the same. So what that would mean them doing is they would base the line, they would press coverage, they would spread their linebackers and spread their defensive line, especially if they're running a 4-3 stack. This is the basic front you will see if your opponent's running 4-3 stack. Okay, so we think they're in a cover two, so we're going to flood them deep, so we send everybody deep here, and now they're in a cover four. That's the idea behind making your defense look the same, so we can identify. So now they throw it up, 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 and you see there, Bethea's in, in good position to make a play, but Julius Thomas, just like he did uh, earlier today in Sunday Night Football, just doesn't care. But anyway, guys, that's the basic thing. And then, uh, you know, you, how you repressure, well... You, you, you think that you, you think they're seeing pressure off the left here, so you're going to throw quick to the flats on the left side, and you're going to set up your curl to flat concept. Well, they're going to adjust. They're going to be in a cover three, and they're going to you're going to throw the flats blind, and that could be a pick six if they're using the San Francisco 49ers or the Seattle Seahawks or teams like that who really don't drop interceptions. So what are you? So I, I say all that to say this. What are you supposed to look for defensively? We have three things. First of all, look for base align. Uh, base align, uh, we're going to go over that in a minute, but uh, that's the first tip. Uh, the second tip is look for uh, bobbing. What I mean by bobbing is movement, manual movement on players. Um, there's a lot of different ways that people will make adjustments to set up plays. Uh, as you guys well know from our Blitz of the Days, there are certain adjustments you need to make. And um, when, when facing uh, a, another user, if they start making those adjustments, you, there's a way that you can tell that they're making those adjustments. We're going to go over that later on. And then number three uh, for... Uh, tips on reading defensive coverages, look for movement of the players. Uh, and what I mean by that is there are certain things you need, you can look for uh, in, in terms of, like, what I mean by that is trying to identify the user player. So where they're moving their players, and, and, and uh, it has to do with certain formations specifically, but especially uh, a defense that's very popular this season is the nickel uh, strong defense. So we're going to get back to that in a moment, but let's just hop into this and uh, let's let's look, let's focus on the first tip here. Look for base the line. So here, for example. When your opponent base the line and presses out of zone, you're going to see here that your corners are going to be really, really inside. You see they're pretty, exa pretty exotically inside here. Um, and it's just for whatever reason. I've never really understood why, but that's just the way it is. But if we look at if we look at it from a zone look, um, base the line press, and, and and that's what it looks like. But a man look, um, we're going to audible here to two man under. Nobody, when you're running two man under, you don't ever call press coverage. Nobody ever does, because two man under in this game is is built because the press on the outside it, it's designed uh, to already press. So you never press out of it because you want to use the computer oriented press coverage. So what they'll do here, let me just reset the play. And I'll audible two men under. So you see the press. And what they'll do is they'll just base the line. And then they'll set their play up. And now you see that these corners are a little bit more over the left. They're, they're directly over the players that they had to guard. That's a tell, guys. That means that that is in there in two men under. 95% of the time, that's what that means. Because here we're going to look. If I audible to a cover two, now you see they slide back in. That means zone. It's a tell. Little things like that, that's what you pick up on. So that's the number three tip. Uh, if they're, And what I'll say to sum it up is if they're way inside like this, that means it's zone. If they're outside, that usually means it's man. If they do it out of a cover zero, then they're just stupid. But you see they'll still line up directly over. Uh, and then when they go to cover two, they're going to slide in a little bit. See that? There's a, there's a slide in, and then if they're in Thunder Smoke here, we're still baseline, but you see they go over the top. So that's how you can tell man or zone in Madden NFL 25 if you're having issues. Okay? So there is uh, tip number one. Tip number two, hopefully I remember it, uh, look for bobbing of the players. So, for example, when they're running the 4-3 stack pressures, they're going to have to do a couple things. They're going to have to crash their line out. They're going to have to manually re-blitz these guys. Well, if they do this, 
um, you know, if they do this, that's going to mean that they're using the right analog stick to do these adjustments. But so, if if nobody moves, and this is what I'm going to say, if nobody uh, bobs like this, if they aren't doing this, then I say watch out for pressure. Okay, watch out for pressure because typically that's the front that's going to bring pressure because the right analog stick nobody will move whenever you whenever you make adjustments. That's how the game works. But the left analog stick people will move. So for example, when they're setting up their maximum coverage defense out of two man under, here's what's watch what happens. There's your max coverage defense, your basic look, and you see people were moving all over the all over the place. You know, trying to adjust, it's real sloppy, and now you know maximum coverage defense, audible down to halfback draw, and burn them that way. So that's the number two tip. Watch for bobbing of the players, guys. It's very important. It's a quick tell whether they'd be running max coverage defenses or pressure defenses, in my opinion. And lastly, guys, look for manual movement of the players. So, for example, we're going to hop out of 4-3 stack real quick. We're going to go into nickel normal, and we're going to show you uh, a really, uh, really common concept, especially out of... Um, or actually, we're going to show you how to nickel 335. So, nickel 335 pressure. Um, a lot of times, people are going to do this look for you for nickel 335 pressure. They're going to manually move this guy out here like so, and then they're going to then they're going to move this guy. Well, typically, whoever they move first is going to be where the pressure is coming from. So here you see really good pressure off of that left edge. But what I can do now is, as a defense or as an offense, I can tell. Okay, so they shifted that way. They shifted that way. Then then they manually move this guy down. Then they're going to bring the linebacker. So I know then. It's who they are last on when they move people around. That's who their user player is. I identify their user player as the middle linebacker here because he moved him from here to here to the middle of the field to give, to give him balance. And I, I am gambling and saying that the pressure is going to come from the left side because he moved the left side guy into place first. So here now, I pick up the pressure, have enough time to e deliver an easy read uh, to, to be there. Just need a little bit better of a pass from Peyton Manning, who is, uh, by the way, having some trouble in this Indianapolis Colts game this uh, tonight on Sunday Night Football. But anyways, guys, that is the basics of reading defensive coverages. Look for, um, you know, bobbing of the players. Look for that. Look for bobbing of the players. Look for do they baseline or not. If they baseline and press, watch out for zone. Because we know that if they're baseline and press and, they, and it's zone, then there's an easy tell. Is it they're inside or if they're outside of the player? And then lastly, guys, look for manual movement of the players. Depending on where they move them can tell you what play they're running. Because typically they'll set up their pressure first without uh, worrying about their coverage. So here they set up their pressure first, then they worry about their coverage, and you see the pressure comes in, yes. But now th what if they were running off the right side? Well, if they're running off the right side, so say they flipped it. Well, now they're going to set up the pressure first. So they're going to go, they're going to reboot that guy, they're going to grab him, sh throw him down, and then finally they're going to get over to Mathis. And then now, now their play is set up, and then now they're going to get on the linebacker. And now you know that they're using the linebacker, and now you know exactly what they're doing. So you can get the ball out of your hands quick with a quick pass. So guys, that wraps up our top three defensive ti or offensive tips for reading advanced defensive coverages. I hope that this video helped you out a ton. I know that uh, this is something that I don't always remember to look for, but it's very important and very uh, useful. I think that it will help you guys a lot when reading defenses and, and help you have a little bit more of a systematic approach uh, to your offense in Madden 25 instead of just trying to run money plays or, or three plays all game. So thanks for watching today, guys. Really appreciate it. Be sure to leave your thoughts and feedback in the, dis in the comment section. And also, be sure to, to um, subscribe if you guys like kind of tips like these, or if you are if you're looking for maybe uh, blitz setups or or uh, offensive money plays or whatever. Then I also have videos like that. Check out my scheme of the week and my blitz of the day videos. Those should share that with you. Thanks for watching today, guys. Once again, always appreciate another great opportunity to share, and we'll see you guys uh, next week with another good advanced defensive tip.